dogs in ancient civilizations. Number 10. Sacred status of dogs in ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians held a special reverence for dogs, particularly the domestic dog. Dogs were an integral part of everyday life in ancient Egypt, and were kept as pets, used as hunting and guard animals, and even mummified and worshipped like gods. Many different breeds of dogs were kept, including the Saluki, the Greyhound and the Basenji. Egyptian gods and deities such as Anubis, Weepbobbit and Isis were often depicted with the head of a dog, and many of the pharaohs even had canine companions. Dogs were also thought to guide the souls of the dead to the afterlife, and were often mummified and buried alongside their owners. As a result, dogs were seen as a symbol of loyalty and devotion and were regarded as sacred. Number 9. Ancient Roman Breeds of Sighthounds Ancient Roman breeds of sighthounds were dogs that were bred and used mainly to hunt prey in the Roman Empire. These dogs were prized for their speed, agility, and keen sight. They were used to track down and hunt small game like rabbits, hares, and foxes. The Roman sighthounds were known for their superior ability to locate, chase, and capture their prey. The most popular type of sighthound in Rome was the Saguso. This breed was especially popular for its speed and strength. It was a cross between the Italian Greyhound and a larger breed, such as the Irish Wolfhound or the Spanish Mastiff. Other breeds that were popular in Rome included the Canis Segusius, the Iswar, and the Livrier du Midi. The Roman sighthounds were also valued for their loyalty and devotion to their owners. They were trained to obediently follow their owners' commands and respond quickly to their commands. The sighthounds were also known for their intelligence and courage, which made them ideal hunting companions. Ancient Roman sighthounds were bred for a variety of purposes, from hunting and tracking to serving as guard dogs. They were also used in arenas as entertainment, where they were forced to fight animals such as bears and bulls. Despite their fierce loyalty and strong sense of duty, these dogs were sometimes treated cruelly and were used for medical experiments and other cruel practices. Number 8. Vikings' Use of Dogs as Working Partners The Vikings used dogs as working partners for many purposes. They were used for herding, hunting, and guarding livestock. Dogs were also used to pull sleds and transport goods. They were a crucial part of Viking life and culture as they helped to make everyday tasks much easier. The Vikings revered their dogs and often buried them with their masters. They were also seen as status symbols and were given names to reflect the owner's social standing. Dogs were trained and used in battle alongside their human companions. They provided protection and companionship for the Viking people and were an integral part of their way of life. Number 7. Role of Dogs in Ancient Indian Culture In ancient Indian culture, dogs were seen as an important part of the family. They were highly respected and their presence was believed to bring luck and protection to their owners. Dogs played a variety of roles such as guard dogs, hunting companions, and even temple wardens. In many parts of the country, dogs were considered sacred and offerings would be made to them during festivals and ceremonies. Dogs were also believed to be a symbol of health and strength and were associated with many deities. In some Hindu temples, dogs are still offered food as part of the daily rituals. Dogs were also featured in Hindu literature, and stories about the brave and noble deeds of dogs appear in many ancient texts. In some places, dogs were also seen as holy, and their names were used as titles of respect. Dogs were also believed to have healing powers, and they were often used as medicine to treat illnesses. The role of dogs in ancient India is an important part of the country's cultural heritage and continues to be honored in many parts of the country. Number 6. Domestication of dogs in ancient China. Dogs have been domesticated since prehistoric times and have long been an integral part of many ancient civilizations. In ancient China, dogs were used for a variety of purposes, from hunting and herding livestock to being a source of food. The Chinese were among the earliest to domesticate dogs, and archaeological evidence suggests that dogs were kept and bred in China as early as the Neolithic period, ca. 10,000 to 4,000 BC. Dogs were kept mainly for their hunting skills in ancient China, and hunting dogs were often bred for various characteristics, such as size, strength, speed and intelligence. Hunting dogs were also trained to flush out game and to retrieve birds and other animals on land or in water. Dogs were also used to guard homes and to serve as watchdogs. Over time, selective breeding and crossbreeding of various types of hunting and guard dogs led to the development of new breeds, which were used for specific purposes. For example, the Chow Chow, which originated in China, was bred for hunting and guarding. The Pekingese was bred to be a companion animal, while the Shih Tzu was bred as a companion and lapdog. The Chinese also developed various techniques to care for their canine companions, such as using herbs and acupuncture to treat certain ailments. Dogs were also frequently included in religious ceremonies, and were sometimes buried with their owners. In ancient China, dogs were seen as symbols of loyalty and friendship, and were an integral part of many families' lives. Number 5. Mythological and Religious Significance of Dogs in Mesopotamia 
Dogs had a powerful significance in Mesopotamian religion, culture, and mythology. They were seen as a symbol of protection, guardians of the underworld, and a companion to the gods. Dogs were believed to have the ability to protect people on their journeys to the afterlife, and they were often sacrificed and buried with the dead in order to ensure their safe passage. Dogs were also believed to be the guide to the realm of the gods, as Inanna was accompanied by a stag dog when she descended to the underworld. In the epic of Gilgamesh, the hero is accompanied by a faithful dog when he meets Unapishtim, the survivor of the Great Flood. Dogs were also seen as a symbol of loyalty and courage, and many sculptures and artifacts depicting dogs have been found from this era. In sum, dogs were highly valued and respected by the ancient Mesopotamians, and their roles were seen as both practical and spiritual. Number 4. Hunting and Herding Dogs of the Stone Age Dogs have been domesticated for thousands of years, and archaeological evidence suggests that they were used by early humans for hunting and herding during the Stone Age. The first dogs were likely descendants of wolves, which were adopted for their loyalty and hunting prowess. The earliest known remains of a domesticated dog date back more than 14,000 years, and were discovered in Germany. Dogs have been found in numerous Stone Age settlements across the world, including in the Middle East, Europe, and the Americas. Dogs were used for hunting large game, such as deer, boar, and bear. They were also used to herd livestock, such as sheep and goats. In some cases, dogs may have been used to protect settlements from predators or intruders. The presence of dogs in these early human settlements indicates that they provided a crucial role in the development of early civilizations. Additionally, dogs may have been viewed as spiritual symbols or companions, and may have been revered and respected by the people of the time. Number 3. Ancient Greek and Roman Uses of Dogs in Warfare In ancient Greece and Rome, dogs were widely used in warfare. In Greek mythology, the hero Achilles is said to have had a loyal dog named Xanthus, who accompanied him to the Trojan War. Dogs were also used as guards and in battle, where they were used to attack the enemy and serve as sentries. They were also used to carry messages between troops, and to transport supplies and ammunition. Dogs were also used in sieges, where they were used to search tunnels and underground passages for the enemy. They were also deployed to guard fortifications and defend besieged cities. Ancient Greek and Roman soldiers were known to have used dogs to sniff out hidden enemy forces. Furthermore, dogs were even used as battering rams to break down castle gates. The use of dogs in warfare was so common in ancient Greece and Rome, that dogs were even depicted on coins and in artwork of the time. Number 2. Pre-Columbian Breeds of South America Pre-Columbian breeds of South America are dog breeds that existed in South America prior to the arrival of Europeans. These breeds likely originated from ancient dogs that were brought to the continent by the first humans and that evolved to the climate and terrain of the area. They included breeds such as the Chila, the Perro de Prisa Canario, the Sechen, and the Perro de Agua. These breeds were used for a variety of purposes such as hunting, herding, and guarding. Though few of these breeds remain today, some of them have been preserved through crossbreeding with European breeds. As a result, some of these ancient breeds can still be found in South America, often in rural areas. Number 1. Ancient Egyptian Use of Dogs in Burial Rituals In ancient Egypt, dogs were highly regarded and associated with many goddesses. They were often brought into the Egyptian home to protect and guard against evil spirits. Dogs were also used in burial rituals and were sometimes mummified along with the deceased in order to provide them with companionship in the afterlife. It was believed that the presence of a dog would guide the soul to the afterlife, and the Egyptians even carved dog-shaped figures on burial tombs. Dogs were also believed to protect against evil forces that may try to prevent the deceased from reaching the afterlife. Dogs, along with other animals, were often sacrificed on the tombs of the deceased to provide further protection. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out more videos from our channel for more fascinating curiosities from around the world. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Until next time, bye!